Hi there, I'm Matt Montgomery. I'm part of the agronomic team here at Bex. Today, I'm in a field of first trifoliate stage beans. And when we dig those beans up, we find that we already have nodules formed on the root system. And so today I thought it might be useful for us to talk about the process of nodule formation and to pull back the curtain and talk about what's happening chemically inside these little beneficial structures on the root system. You may remember that we've introduced Brady rhizobia into the soil profile for the purposes of soybean production and that there's a mutually beneficial, a symbiotic relationship between the plant and those bacteria, a relationship in which both parties benefit. The plant produces sugars and a portion of those carbohydrates are sent to the bacteria that then get the energy they need to maintain life. And in response, the bacteria do something kind of unique. They grab into gas that the plant can't use, they cleave it apart, and they transform it into ammonia that the plant can use. The plant can then use that form of nitrogen to produce amino acids, proteins, basic structural building blocks that are needed for plant growth and development. It's pretty impressive when you think about N2 gas usually being split apart by the energy from a lightning bolt. The bacteria reside within these nodules, and those nodules form when soybean root hairs come near to those bacteria. When they come near to those bacteria, the bacteria send out little chemical signals that cause the growth and development of those root hairs to change. That root hair will curl back against itself. The bacteria will accumulate around that curled root. They will form a little highway that leads into the cortex. And when that happens, an allergic reaction results in which that root hair and material behind that root hair actually swells up and produces this corky-like mass that we call a nodule. And the bacteria reside inside that nodule doing their business of nitrogen fixation. Those bacteria are going to change. They're gonna lose their tails. They're gonna become a little different in appearance. And there are two important compounds that they use to do this job. One is called nitrogenase. That's the enzyme that does the job of splitting nitrogen apart and eventually transforming it into ammonia. But it has a critical flaw. If it comes in proximity to too much oxygen, that nitrogenase will shut down. And so there's another material inside that nodule called leg hemoglobin that acts like a shield. It can't see too much oxygen or it shuts down and leg hemoglobin shields that material from that oxygen. That's the background on how we actually get nitrogen from these things. And that is the reason why the interior of that nodule is pink. That's the presence of leg hemoglobin, and that's why pink inside the nodule is an indication of whether that nodule is functioning or not. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk with you soon.